So I had heard about animal therapy in prisons with inmates training dogs, but I had never heard of the Mustang program. Law, how does this animal therapy help prisoners and how did it change Roman in the movie? I think because there's a, a lack of judgment coming from the animal. There's no word, there's no lie. Uh, it's, a, it's a connection that starts with physicality, body language. It's like a dance where uh, the animal is leading the dance and stitching the man to behave, to, 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 to stand on his two foot and, and, uh, and, and, to, and to teach him respect and trust. And, uh, and when they bond, you have like this visceral, very deep, deep, deep connection. And I feel that this uh, very simple uh, arc of transformation that comes from emotions and intuition and, and physicality uh, affect then your mind and your spirit and then really repair your pain and your demons and, uh, and help to find patience and, uh, and, and, and to tame yourself. Mm. And that's a, su such a visual process that I could witness when I was researching in prison. This is why I really wanted to tell this, you know, this, this very specific story, very specific ch transformation. So Jason, your character Henry is so very different from Roman, yes. yet they form a special bond. How does this happen in the movie? I think it happens because Roman doesn't want to talk to anybody, and I definitely want to call everything out, you know what I mean? And we're the perfect balance for each other. Like, sometimes I need to shut up and sometimes he needs a hug, you know what I mean? And we definitely come together great because we're sort of in this love triangle with the horse that allows me to sort of dig, let him dig into himself, you know what I mean? Because I think so many times he went through things and just wanted to blame the world, you know what I mean? And, and didn't want to bond with anybody, but I forced it out of him. And not only did I force it out of him, I forced it into this relationship with him and his horse. It's quite beautiful to see on the screen. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. There's a saying, Matthias, that a picture is worth a thousand words, and I was reminded of this in a moment in the film where the Mustang comes up behind Roman and nuzzles him, mm -hmm. and there is so much emotion shown in that moment, yet no words are spoken. Mm -hmm. So what was it like to film that? Well, that was, I think, one of the most um, important scenes. Of course, every scene is important, but that scene uh, in particular, we did a couple of takes and we, we didn't really know what was going to happen and then eventually the magic happened, the horse, you know, s you know snuck up on me and then this, this very um, natural exchange happened and then, then it was just a matter of dancing, dancing the tango with, with a wild horse and just surrendering to that moment and it was, uh, I remember on set everybody was like, what did just happen? This was so beautiful. Also, there was the setting, the light, the sun. There was a, there was you know, all of a sudden everything um, fell into place, and there was an enormous harmony going on to, you know, um, between all the elements. And all of a sudden, we had like, wow, we had true uh, movie magic mm -hmm. that completely came from the from the horse and its and its surrendering energy. Yes, and I love in the poster as well how Roman's head is bowed, as is that of the horse as mm -hmm. well. You know, it's all these parallels that you see throughout the movie between the two. Now, prior to making this movie, what experiences did you have with horses? It was all bad. Oh. It was all bad. Yeah, I had, a, I had a friend who was trampled by a huge Clydesdale horse when I was like 16, and it was all bad. She was a girl, too, so it was even worse. You know what I mean? I was like, ah. You know, growing up in New Orleans, you only see, like, police on horses most of the time, you know? But um, to watch one of them, run into a crowd of people like full speed, you know what I mean? It, it makes you a little standoffish. So I was a, I was very afraid at first. But, you know, I took that fear and kind of threw it behind me and make it propel me instead of hold me back. So what did you do to overcome that fear? Uh, you know, I started, I started pretty basic. But it was more like me learning how to be comfortable with what was going on with the horse, you know what I mean? Just understanding their mind frame. Because they're they're prey animals, you know, even though they're they're nine hundred pounds, they don't they can't fight. You know what I mean? All they can do is like run for their lives and protect themselves from the family that's around them, you know. So to learn how they're how they're wired and how they work, it was so interesting to be able to give this horse some energy and he gives it back. You know what I mean? Like the days that I was afraid, the horse was afraid, but the more I sort of, I've, I, I just ended up 
it, it did the same thing. You know what I mean? It really warmed up to me. And before you know it, I was riding. Wow, it's so interesting yeah. how they feel your energy like that. Right, it's yeah. crazy, it's crazy. And when yeah. you're riding, it's the same thing. Like if you look down, the horse is gonna look down. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you can, can you can potentially go flying off. You yeah. know, but like you develop this bond to everywhere you you look, the horse is going that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So it's 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 so incredible to have that. Will we see you back on a horse anytime soon? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. You know what I mean? It's something that uh, that I'm really happy that I went home with. You know what I mean? Because in in my grown male life, I was completely terrified of this animal. You know what I mean? So I'm like, you know. This is something nobody can ever take from me. Yeah. Now, I also read that some of the uh, actors in the movie were inmates. Yes. How did that come about? Yes, um, uh, through, through my research, I met this man, Thomas Mito, who plays Tom in the film, Native American man who actually spent 15 years in this prison in Nevada and, and, uh, and, and went through this program. And uh, I interviewed him, and there's something so charismatic and broken about this man. I thought it was, uh, I really wanted to have him in the film to play his own role and to have him as like the, you know, um, a, a, a part of the, the, the writer's group. And uh, for two years I talked to him and it was like, oh, I don't know if I can do that. Or, and then at the end it was like, okay, I'm ready. And, and, uh, and, and it was wonderful to work with him uh, because he, he brought so much knowledge and so much elements of truth of his, of his life. And, uh, and we also had two other men who went through this program. I met them when they were still incarcerated and, uh, and, and came on board. They were living around in Nevada. And it was very important for me to have them and to have this group of different men, wherever they come from, like working and sharing this experience. Now, what message would you like audiences to walk away with after seeing this movie? Redemption and humility run hand in hand. You know what I mean? Like, you can, you can go through things in your life and it's so easy to get in trouble, you know, but it's it's easy to look into yourself and redeem yourself as well, you know, and if you start with forgiving yourself, then the world is nothing to conquer. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's interesting, the whole movie made me think that if animal therapy is such a magical healing experience, yeah. that maybe they should implement it before people, you know, do violent acts of crime. Yeah, that's 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 actually really true. I didn't think about that, but it it, it could be interesting to have like in schools or yeah. different programs. Yeah, because it it gives you something to live for if you think you don't have anything to live for, you know. Yes. Well, thank you so much for talking yeah. to you guys. Thank you. thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey you guys, huh? Hey you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey.